Uh -huh. We walk out and we say, God walk. Mm. And sometimes the West, you know, this is the further south, West uh, translation. Sometimes it's Sugai, literally. Mm. So Berber is not a Romanized form of barbarian. Berber <laughs> 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 has nothing to do with barbarian. There was a word barbarian, but that's a different word. Okay. They were written originally differently. And that's my, my uh, associate, the Jewish guy I was talking about, he also writes about that, that they're the different words. He also wrote, uh, I don't know what this picture is. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Absolutely not. Because if you're going to make a claim, when, when we go to books and Romans tell us what barbarians mean, and you're going to make a claim that one guy who's a Jewish guy who you're associated with says that that's a lie, so, so that's a lie. Okay? But then you're not, there's a word associated with it, but you're not going to release what that word is. So you claim. Um, what was the author's name you were suggesting again? Uh, Barry or whatever. Oh, Tariq Barry. Tariq Barry. Uh, the Unknown Arabs. And he has some suggestions. -E yes. -E okay. And he writes about you know, the different tribes that were called black and stuff like that. And that's how I figured out which tribes were. Um, that all of them were actually black. Because all those tribes, he names are related to everybody else. Yeah. You remind me of uh, Drusilla Houston Dungey. Have you read her book? Uh, yeah. And she was my, one of my inspirations. Okay. From her, J.A. Rogers, Dia, who else? Um, J. Johnson, was last name? Origin of Man and God and Civilization, yeah. Origin of Af African Civilization, something like that. Those were like the main ones. Mm -hmm. so, Questions? So. Um, I'm trying to get some clarification now. Um, the Berbers, are they the same people as the people who are called the lost tribes of Israel today? Yes. Mm. And that's us. The Berbers, or very, very, are the Hebrews. Mm. And, and that sounds strange, doesn't it? So, in a sense, are they the same people as the people who are called the lost tribes of Israel today? Yes. Mm. And that's us. The Berbers, mm. or Berry Berry, are the Hebrews. Mm. And, and that sounds strange, doesn't it? <laughs> so, in a sense, these people in America saying that we are the Hebrews, we are the Jews, yes, is, to the extent that you're related to the Songhai, Man, people, Malinke, and all. or Barry Barry are the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. and, and that sounds strange, doesn't it? <laughs> So, in a sense, these people in America saying that we are the people who are the Jews, yes, is, to the extent that you're related to the Songhai, Man people, Malinke, and all these people, which is a lot of West Africans, and how is that, yes, you are descendants of those people, but not only that, the Canaanites, mm. as well as the other tribes of mm. So, nobody else was mentioned in the Bible but those people. Right. So if anybody want to come and read with anything, I'll show you that nobody else mentioned the Bible. Wow. It's just wow. between Russia and the Horn of Africa. And in, in the Horn of Africa, after they started colonizing, after their Ethiopic Wars, which Josephus talks about, Josephus was an ancient Roman who was Judaized and talks about you know where the Hebrews came from. So after the Ethiopic Wars, Lahumim, Latush, and all these people, you know, got spread abroad. The Canaanites got spread abroad. And, you know, some of them went to uh, Aegean. In fact, in the 6th century, you find texts written at that time saying, he also wrote, uh, I don't know what this picture is. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Um, what was the author's name you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got to do this again. It, it just, I can't believe this shit. Don't 
So the water The castle, that's the Spanish translation, Azawaba of Duwaga or Zagawa. Mm -hmm. And Songhai is a west, you know, is a further south, west uh, translation. Songhai was Sugai, you know. So Berber is not a Romanized form of barbarian. Berber <laughs> 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 has nothing to do with barbarian. There was a word barbarian, but that's a different word. Okay. They were written originally differently. And that's my, my uh, associate. The Jewish guy I was talking about, he also writes about that, that they're the different words. He also wrote, uh, I don't know this picture. <laughs> no, but anyway, does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Um, what was the author's name you were suggesting again? Uh, Barry or whatever? Oh, Tariq Barry. Tariq Barry. Barry. Uh, the Unknown Arabs. And he has an interesting... That's Yes. E-E-R-R-Y. Okay. And he writes about, you know, the different tribes that were called black and stuff like that, and that's how I figured out which tribes were, um, that all of them were actually black. Because those, all those tribes, he names were related to everybody else. Yeah. So. You remind me of uh, Drusilla Houston Dungey. Have you read her book? Uh, yeah. She was my, one of my inspirations. Okay. From her, J. A. Rogers, Diop, who else? Um, J. Johnson was the last name? Origin of, Man and Don Civilization, yeah. Origin of African civilization, something like that. Those were like the main ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Question. So. Um, I'm trying to get some clarification now. <laughs> um, the Berbers, are they the same people that was the people who are called the lost tribes of Israel today? Yes. Mm. And that's us. The Berbers, mm -hmm. or Berry Berry, are the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. and, and that sounds strange. All right, so. If you listen very carefully, he asks, who are the Berbers, basically? Are they the tribes of Israel that have been classified as lost? And she whispers, yes. There's confidence for you! Okay, so... <laughs> and then he said, and that's us. Because earlier in the film, she done told him that they're the Berry Berry, Right? But when these men walked in, they knew they were the Moors of Moab. Just like you've seen many of the Moors of Moab be online saying they are the original Moroccan. Now, what is in Morocco are the people that call themselves the Berry Berry or the Berbers. So all she's saying is you are the original people of Morocco, right? The Sultan of Morocco, that's the shit they, they talk. But she's saying it in such a way that there there is no barbarian. And what it's doing is it's producing a lie. And now they believe there's something they're not. And what they are is the Moabites who grew into the very, very people who were the barbarians of the African coast who got overthrew by other barbarians. When they sit there and tell you that there's different Arab groups and one Arab group was a barbarian, and when you go looking for pictures and you see white barbarians and you just happen to see black barbarians, it's gonna all start to make sense. But the way this person is telling them is in such a way, it's just a big lie. You know, and, and again, they come in with their identity. And then they leave with this belief that they're the lost tribes of Israel. <laughs> like, you know, and that's the funny thing. Because the, the Bible says that even in the, in the five books, it says that we intermingled with them. Then we beat the living shit out of them. And then later in the book of Kings, we find out that Israel... Judah and Edom went to war with them. We were kicking their ass so bad, their king slaughtered their son. So, that's when the Most High cut them off from being a kingdom anymore. That's why they're in the same condition as Israel with some person that has absolutely no discernment
telling them that they are Israel. And it's sad. Because now they think they're doing the correct thing. Now they think they've been doing the correct thing for some time. When in fact, they already know they haven't. So, again, you can always go to the front of this. Right? Islam. 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 I want to first rise and get praise. Okay, so Islam, Islam, Islam. I, self, law, some shit, right? That's what it means, right? Because you're claiming to be God because you were rejected by God because of the curse that happened to you and your brother and the Canaanites. Allah, I want to give honors to his prophet, Prophet Noble Ali. I want to give honors to the forerunner, the brother, Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. I want to give honors to the Morris Science Temple of America. Marcus Garvey, who wanted black people to go to Africa and reject their status in their new home. Even the Moabites don't have a home here no more. Which part is it? It's Detroit? Is it Kansas? That's what I thought. America. I want to give honors to all past and present leadership of the Moore Science Temple of America. I want to give honors to my comrades and Ali's men. And I want to give I want to give honors to everyone here today. Islam. Islam. This is um this is amazing. A lot you know, of those of us that helped put this thing together. You know, we did it in a very, 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 very short time. And we're all in awe at the vibration and the spirit present in the room today. That's right. You know. We, I mean, we really, really are. So um, I am not going to be long at all. One of the big treats about our upcoming speaker, one of the big surprise, somewhat surprise treats, you know, we already know, I mean, her scholarship in the ethno history of our people and how powerful it is because she independently confirms what Prophet Noble Drali was teaching in 1913. When we first told- She didn't independently shit. She already told you she was later in the shit. She tell you she's working with some fake Jew called somebody, right? What's the author's name again? Right. Talked with the sister a while back. We were talking about these things. We, we quoted the last sentence in act six, right? The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Moab. All right. <coughs> so. <coughs> they come to America and what? Claim the desert. Or do they claim a region that becomes the desert? Hmm? It is. Watch his hand, Sizzling. In the ethno history of our people, and how powerful it is because she independently confirmed. Ah, oh, froze. <coughs> One of the big treats about our upcoming speaker. One of the big, surprise, somewhat surprise treats. You know, we already know, I mean, her scholarship in the ethno history of our people and how powerful it is because she independently confirms what Prophet Noble Drali was teaching in 1913. When we first talked with the sister a while back, we were talking about these things. We, we quoted the last sentence in Act 6, right? The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. You know, we talked about the industrious acts of the Moors, right? On page three of the Holy Quran of the Moors Science of America. And her words were, wow, that's very simple and poetic language, but it's the truth. And it's not, that's not really known. I'd like to meet this man. We were like, that's impossible. He passed forms in 1929. She said, well, that's impossible. Okay, so, all right, you see, uh, the hat he wears, it is a fraternal hat. 
it is an order of, you see, it's Ali's Men's Summit. That's a fraternity, okay? That is the image of the Moab, all right? The Moabite, the big crayfish eyes, all right? How many of these Bible camp leaders that taught you Esau is white? If fucking Jacob is black, if Jacob got an afro, Esau got an afro. If Moab got an afro, Ammon got an afro. You can't keep saying these same lies and expect people to follow you, to listen to this garbage. You're on the street cussing people out, calling the white man fucking Rome, and he ain't had nothing to do with Rome except for destroying it. I mean, look around. Does anything you see look like Rome? They ain't screw dogs in Rome. They ain't, they ain't need no women's suit in Rome. This is this is a society men want to get into the women's suit so they can be blow up dolls for other men. They want to go in the jerk off booths on 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 the corners of New York to relieve themselves so they can come out the booth and. And make eye contact with people. What were you doing in the booze? <laughs> this is that society. These people done murdered, slaughtered, murdered, slaughter, slaughter, kill, murder. And then they say to you, don't fucking steal. And 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 this guy, this this is a a whole set of funniness. Boycott the NFL, right? Hey man. So when you see this, this is what among. Moab. When I when I'm when I'm watching videos, uh 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 when 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 I watch uh what's my man's name? Oh, this is perfect. I wanted to do this shit anyway. <laughs> Mute that crap. So, have you, have you ever take the time to look at this, right? So, this is another another black person that pushes the Jesus down your throat. Jesus coming back. Oh, save me, right? So, when we look through this, we see a bunch of shit, right? No. Again, it's a phantom body, right? And look at what's inside, right? It's a baby skull. Don't give me that. Oh, his face is painted. What? Painted as what? What are all the little boys wearing? Oh, okay. We don't recognize it anymore. What are all the little boys wearing? Hmm? Hmm? Pirate hat, right? Right? Does that child look alive? That look like voodoo. Huh? Or do the feeling haunt you? Voodoo. Come on, wake up, people. Re reach around, pinch your own ass. Wake up. Right? Oh, so we go touch we, we, our ancestors, people, ancestors, worship the dead. Right? That's what the fuck they keep saying to you, and you keep drinking that shit up. Peace. The El Eon. Most High said, "Peace mean war." Why? Did, how come every time you say, "Peace mean war," five niggas come back saying, "Peace, nigga," right? Oh, in the same video, I tell you, "Peace mean war." You still gonna say peace to me? It's okay. I get, I get the special message. 
I get it. Right? So go ahead and, and, and kiss your ancestors, dead ass. Right? That's what, that's what your space policy is, right? And so what is this? Now it's going to freeze real quick. It's okay. We're going to come right back. I'm going to throw another commercial up. No? Bring a sword, bring them more. And what is everybody doing? They're doing a little voodoo dance. That's what they're doing. It's a circle dance. Why are they doing circle dancing? It's voodoo. And you don't get it? What kind of hat is that? Huh? Kind of hat to sit on top of an afro in a certain, a certain kind of land. Right? What's the whole, with the whole time, what is she saying? All the stars are falling. Why is he dressed in blood? You ain't never asked yourself these questions. You're just sitting there <laughs> tripping and bumping into shit, right? Your beans cooking on the stove burning. You ain't got no sense because the music is entrance you, right? If if the cat that's supposed to be important is the lion, why you why you got all these black cats, right? What's on your head? Why is is the yellow showing through? Is that supposed to represent the jaguar? Because the leopard can't, or I mean, excuse me, the leopard because the leopard can't. All the jaguar are on the screen, but the leopard can't can't change the spots. Why is he wearing yellow headband? Real bright. And all all the color is sucked right out of this. What you mean after the ad? Man, you sorry. I mean, let me. All right. So it was important that Toyota told us all about that. Thank you, Toyota. You know, because it's okay that you, you can pay to brainwash me anytime you want. All right. We already passed it. Here we go. All right, we're gonna have to restart it again. Yeah, that's what I mean. YouTube is garbage. Fix your shit, man. You gotta ask yourself, what is the yellow supposed to represent on a screen with black and white, burnt forest, and a yellow bandana? nothing but a bunch of cats and he's the leader of the cat do I need to click over here and bring up America being the latest greatest description of the new world and then show you the picture where the queen at the top is holding the yellow flag that's a fucking leopard skin do I need to bring up the South and Central American kings that had the leopard skin on their ass do I need to bring up the warriors that dressed in leopard skin suits? The leopard can't change his fucking spots. Right? And what are they showing you here with all the feathers and shit? Right? What is the gimmick there? That's Africa, right? Look at all the black countries with all the stupid fucking red, black, and green flags, right? Right? All fell to white supremacy. Oh, we're the strongest. We're the toughest. All fell to white supremacy. How? We was in control, but it fell to white supremacy. We was, I don't want to hear that shit because I wake up today and you're poor like me, you're broke like me, except for some of these people join groups. Talking we family, but you in a group. A group you already swore. Swore. To be family too, over blood. So isn't it funny that all these, all these black people wear these hats, talking, talking we have power over white people, but if I type in, if I type in more, am I, if I type in Muslim or more, am I going to see white people wearing the same hat? Let's just keep it simple. You say you're a people, right? And this is what comes up. When I type in more, I don't see no hats. Not no bloody red caps. You see my point? That's not even the same thing and you know it. 
this is something different. Now, now look at all the black people. Black people. Black people. Black, that look like Wesley Snipes. Black people. Right? Black people. Right? Now, notice how all of them shave their face. Or they don't have a beard. Or they don't have a mustache. Yet, isn't it interesting that this person's mustache? Let's get a richer picture. I mean, even in this picture, you can see how it come off the sides and everything. Right? Completely different than that. Completely different from that. Well, so what's the difference between this man's image of his beard and the image of this man's beard and mustache? That's an important feature that's completely different. Even this has a resemblance to this. But you notice how this is not a full beard. If it was, you couldn't highlight how the whiskers went out at the side. Hence, the brush strokes to highlight the strands of hair. Where is this man shit like that? That's a portrait of two different nationalities. Both called Negro, both called Black, both called most likely African American today. Okay? See this? This will just pop up everywhere. You know, the Negro. Typical albino nonsense by the Portuguese painter Jose Antonio in 1869. So, again, these, these, these people didn't paint these pictures. They're barbarians. They came over and stole this and then just wrote shit at the bottom. This is obviously important. They didn't burn it. They didn't burn any of these. You have to ask yourself, why? Who's important here? The king or the pontiff? We live in a time that you believe the pontiff is more important, but if the king is chosen by God and the pontiff is an interchangeable person that pretends to be the vicar of Christ, and then the king is more important than the fake. You have no idea the importance of these images. Yet they did not destroy them. These people that we see in these pictures, they don't look anything like this. They're not wearing any of these hats. It's a whole different bloodline. So remember this, when you're watching these videos and these people say the most outlandishly wild shit. Oh yeah, Arabs started this way. They look like this in the beginning. They, <laughs> and this is what Right? Moorish pride, and you got what? A, a real barbarian. Right? No. Black Othello, what is he wearing? He's wearing a vesture of leather. You see the holes for the, for the string, but they didn't put a string through it? Now, you probably look at this picture and say it's the actor's fault. 
whose job is it to dress the fucking actors? And so, you know, they, they think about it. Now, this just so happens to be on screen, right? The Moors, the Dark Age, that's what they call the Dark Age, right? Because it, what most people say, because why? That's the, the end of the rule of the black people? So, so what is this? If they was ruled by black people, and then once a, once a year they have some special holiday where they dress up huh, and wear face paint. Now, I want everybody who gives a shit to pay attention to what they're wearing. Now, let's look. They have fake afros, so you know it's you that they're pretending to be. Now remember, if they're the royalty of Europe, why do they wear jeans and t-shirts on an average day, but when they dress up like you, they get these exquisite hats that fit on top of afros. Now you see how big that fucking hat is? Now, how many people, what is it, uh, was it good times? No, it wasn't good times. Yeah, it was good times. Rerun. What was, it? was it Rerun's hat, right? No. You know what I'm talking about? Middle Google. Google Bagiba. Put my shit up on screen. What do you got? Rainbow represent in the covenant. My own. All right, so rerun hat. That's what they just call it now. It's a rerun hat. Now, I'm sure when these devilish people uh, take the time to go and buy their suit, it's a specific name of a hat. I'm sure they don't go to the do you have a hat that might be big enough for a Nika's Afro? Right? Just choke these people. I'm just playing. Can't do that. Just, just choke. Be cool, Draco. So, what do they do? They wear bright lipstick. Right? Anybody know the name of the collar that they're wearing around their neck? Because isn't it funny how the clothes they seem to be, we can't see that much of the clothes, but when we see that, don't they look like they kind of dressed up like the people in like these pictures up here, right? Not per se this one, not per se this one, but if you're just someone poor, why would you be wearing all the silks of the Silk Road? It's as if the Silk Road was set up to sell to you. So, let me see if I can find one of these little Victorian collars. Right? Okay, if that's, see, there's one right there. What is that? A ruffled collar. Elizabethan. Okay, neck ruff. So it's a, a not a victor, it's a, a Oh, it didn't say collar. I forgot what it said already. Oh, see, that's where it takes us to a pet. There we go. Uh, it still says for dogs, right? What's wrong with him? 
So isn't that interesting? Uh, they dress up in these fucking outfits, right? But it goes back to these pictures. Let's see. Let's see, first portraits. Right? Now, Elizabethan portrait, right? Portrait, right? So, let us look at how big that collar is, right? Like to put a leash on that. <laughs> Son's gonna wake up. Now, let's say Negro. No, let's go. Let's go ghetto. Let's say Black. Black. Oh. Mm. Okay, so now see what reoccurs. See what's happening. All right? So, the Elizabethan age must be the actual dark age. Huh? Look at that. Hey, sis. Whoa. They drew stretch marks on those damn puppies. Anyway, look at that. Don't that look like the lady who used to be on uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air? The one that they don't get along with anymore? Because she. Cause she was, uh, she was not wicked, right? Oh, that's creepy. Anyway, so look at Annabelle, Karari, Karari, Ratic, Karatic, Annabelle, Karatic portrait. Oh, 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 that's the, that's who owns it or who painted it. A uh, portrait of an African slave, right? With a fucking gold, right? I'm a slave. I'm going to sit here for days on end, periodically, like I'm working in this chair, holding this amazing gold cloth that some dumb honky later is going to write me off as a slave. Who? Owns, where's the fucking clock today? Look out! Look at that fucking clock, dude. That's a masterpiece. Look. A Fabergé egg compared to a clock? Look at that! It's a timepiece! Today, you would try to put that on the desk that's ruling the world. And they're going to write her off as a slave. Look at this is the garment of a slave. Hmm. You're so full of shit. They paint this lady so pale, I'm surprised they just don't have pictures with her teeth in somebody. Just sucking the blood right out. Just sucking the blood right out of them, you know? I would die for you, my queen. You're about to. Ah. So. Let's see. Let's see dark age portraits, right? Okay, so dark age portraits brings up Jesus shit. Done. That. I What can you do? I mean, I mean, damn, that's a book we have, like, like this, this over, right? That's, 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 that's the cover of a book. Ah, oh, man. Can you believe how copy-pasted our life is? Copy machines came out in the 80s. Oh, boy. I don't know. I think they're long, they're long before that. Once you can make the printer, the copy machine's done. Oh shit, man. That look like fucking half my family. Look at Juan did somebody, right? Come on, man. Of Seville. Right? Assistant to the Spanish painter Diego Rodriguez. Get the fuck out of here. 
Best uh, portrait of a black youth richly dressed in silk and holding a bow. He says, Regard, 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 Pyrakis. And 16. And it says, I 659, I 743. Fuck all that shit. Portrait of a black man crowned with a laurel, holding an olive branch with his hand. Where's the Roman pictures of white people doing this? What's the famous thing that the... I'll wait. No, I won't. Alright, so, uh... It says he was painted by a Dutch... Bot, wait. Painted in Dutch Brazil. <laughs> so that means Brazil occupied, right? Occupied by a force called the Dutch. Most paintings of black men uh, by... Eckhart are ridiculously said to be the ambassadors and emissaries of the King of Kondo, Congo. So look at that. It's, it's like, why would the King of Congo have emissaries in fucking Brazil in an area that's occupied by the Dutch? It's off the wall, right? And just take a map and just connect that with strings, and you just you got to just a, a, a three point mess. Just a mess, right? Ah, oh, the painting is a private is in a private collection, thus saving it from what ignoramus fate, right? So, so <laughs> what is an ignoramus fate, right? The painting of this emissary of Congo in Brazil, controlled by Dutch is hidden in someone's house so black people can't see their history. So, let's see if any of these have writings under them. Get the hell out of here. She ain't in no control in 650. Y'all fully sick. Now, the black prince got all the regal shit sitting in the regal chair, but it's a, it's a black youth holding a fruit basket and a girl stroking a dog, right? That's a, that's a prince, right? I see princes on foot and what? And slaves. That fucking animal off my chair. I'm trying to eat grapes, bitch. <laughs> Could you imagine this dude talking, man? It's like, 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 he's laying on a fucking bed. He's got a pet monkey. Right? And she's just playing around with the limp dick dog, dude. Right? He's got a pet monkey. It's like, it's like Michael Jackson and shit, right? Oh, man. Imagine what you see just sitting here, right? Here we go, right? This dude's plucking roses and, and fucking lilies from a tree. Right, and she's half naked. Hmm. Where's a coin so I can flip to see what's going to happen next? You're gonna call this light, this this woman a lady, and her fucking dress is half off. Like he's about to, like, pick some roses and spread the petals around and pour some champagne. Like, what you see in these images are funny when you look past black, white, and clothes. Like, see what they're actually doing. Why are they painted in this manner? All right, let's say, let's take Era out. See what we get. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at this shit. All right. How regal can one be? Right? You got the afro, right? The afro is authority, all right? You know, like a gigantic king hat, right? Whatever animal this is, a bunch of them had to die for this fucking hat to be cool as shit, right? Like, I mean, he, like, think about it. 
you can only wear so much shit without that shit being heavy, right? So you got to get the lightest, most wildest shit so it's just out there, right? You saw a goddamn sombrero, right? Thin ass neck, little ass dude wearing this big ass sombrero. Hey, how are you? All right. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of them. That's how it's presented in movies. And attack the person that presents it in this ethnic way, right? Uh, whatever, you know, to you, I'm the presenter or whatever. So, again, dark ages, and then you get all these Jesus, black Jesus pictures, right? Wow, is that an afro or a comb back? I can't tell which one, right? Everybody's everybody's really dark white, right? <laughs> right? Come on. So, all right. Now you have the father of humanitism, right? The first time we see a picture with a reef on its head, right? Oh, they take out all the black people? All right. So, let's see. Portraits. Is it what? What's this? Portraits of who? Of. It would have been faster just to type. As slow as I type, it would have been faster. Look at this shit. Freemason. Adolf Ludwig. Gustav Friedrich Albert. Damn, how many names do you need? Doug, nigga. Known as Baldin. Uh, Friedrich Al Friedrich Albert Baldwin. See? Albert for black people is an ancient name. Albert for white people is just as new as fresh milk. It will spoil soon. Oh, that was good. So here you have originally of the Prussian cult. So the Prussian. Now remember you had Muscov over here and, and Prussia over here and Persia right here, right? And now you have Russia today. Today you don't even know where the fuck Persia is, right? So Muscov started getting all Pac-Man-y. And he ate Prussia, right? What do you have over here? King of Prussia in what? Jersey. Pennsylvania or is it Jersey? Okay. One or the other, but one of them, right? We've, we've talked about Prussia, right? And I thought it was Russia, but it looks like Prussia left because Russia was growing, right? But then you take the pee off and you got Russia. So did somebody, did the Muscov, the Moscow, take the name Prussia? Pinch the pee off and call itself Russia? Secretary of the Court of Sweden. What? Black man connected to Swede? Swede? Okay. Note the typical nonsense bio of Baldwin by the albinos. All right. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, um, whatever. Uh, 299 best bloodline images. See, that's just, that's just a touchy, touchy, touchy. Hold on one second. This is said to be Joe Green Footman. For many years to Miss Quick in the late 1700s, where it was to be a fact that Joe Green satisfied her cardinal thirst to the f you bad black motherfucker, and still would not explain her going to the expense of having a portrait painted of a common domestic servant. Aww, isn't that sweet? She loved him. So let's go over here. Interesting things pop up when you start looking on uh, Pinterest. I'm going to end this pretty soon. Just uh, just got caught up with all these pictures. And again, we're looking for what? We're looking for the Dark Ages, right? Or let's just type in Moors of the... Alright, so... Now, notice this hat 
is the real hat. That blood cap? What is that blood cap shit? That's a secret organization. You see this? You see this? Now, which one is royalty? This shit? Or this? I don't care what nation they're of. My point is the treachery that we see today. Now, remember the kid with, with all the stuff on his hat? Now, look at that shit. Harvard University. Now, you wondering why your black ass and my black ass ain't gonna see some shit like this? Because it's sitting in Harvard. It's sitting behind the white man's school, hidden from us. Stole your shit, took it somewhere you and me would never go. Now, aren't you glad the video didn't stop yet? Right? I didn't put it there, right? It's in the E. It's in the E. B. Du Bois Institute. And that's why you don't see shit like that. Now, if Harvard is the what the Freemasons' little hideaway, why do they hide black shit there? Hmm. Remember Harvard, Yale, Ivy League schools, the crypt where the presidents go to be get secret bullshit. The fuck does she have to do with this? All right, so this is the point where it starts to change, right? And where, where, do, where's the information on it? The homie. That's the most they can come up with. Because it becomes a secret society at that point. What does the secret societies end up doing? Everybody? Anybody? Well, I'll just put it to you like this. You see this image today, you don't see this image no more. Where is this image at? Again, look at what he's wearing. Damn, I thought about this already. He's wearing a cape. With, with with sleeves that open up that can be so that can be strung right back together. That's some badass shit. Look at that. You see his arm underneath? Moving freely. Anytime he get cold, he just he just he just tied a string and then it's just it's a Batman cape. Where the king's at? Where the prince is at? All the prince is gone. Hmm? What happened to him? Look, he got the blood hat on. He's part of the organization. He just wrapped some shit around his head. Smash his blood cap like he's trying to get away. Hmm? Look, it's the same face. Hiding the blood cap underneath. Right? One image, no blood cap. Make people think one thing. Next image, show a little bit of the blood cap. Why would they do that? See the shirt changed? Right? This is not the same shirt there. It's the same face. That's off-white wrapping. That's white wrapping. That's off-white cover. Why'd he change his clothes? Arab and Berber. Right? Dynamic Africa, right? Moroccans by spent. It's the same fucking shit, right? Same beard, same head wrap, same cover. Wrapped around them the same way. Different names. Who playing with people's mind?
are were these supposed to be set up right next to each other? It's dynamicafrica.com, real history, www.com. Somebody playing with everybody's mind. Who's got the power to play with everybody's mind at one time? That's a photo. That's not ancient. You see what's going on, right? See, it. what is this supposed to be of, right? Because this that that's not her 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 culture. This is actually Siberia's culture. <laughs> Look, you got a. Is that words on the screen or is that a unibrow? Oh, that's a tattoo. You see, that's a man, right? You got the fucking aftershave right there, goddammit. Like they ran out of women. Alright? Ain't got no titties. No offense. That chest is puckered. That chest is sunken in. That chest. <laughs> I'm gonna move on. Right? Now that's the same thing. Here's the image of the boy. Now they took the image of the boy and they made it an image of a girl. Now you see what's going on? All kinds of weirdness. This is what happens when they take over your land. You ain't in control no more. Now this is what is in control. Right? Now you get this shit. Right? Don't even get me started. I'll go on for six hours on this shit. Now, this could be any season. Don't just necessarily think it's hot because leaves are budding and he's wearing all this shit in the desert. Think about that shit. Long time. They're going to take the time to paint leaves to show you what season it is. And then they're going to have them in all these heavy-ass carpets. Right? It's wintertime right now. You're indoors. Right? Indoors average, what, 70, 72? This is what? That's a scarf. That's a thick-ass scarf. Even if it's not, it's a wide scarf. Go put your scarf on and sit indoors for a little bit. Right? And then you got some kind of animal fur, and then you got a fucking blanket. You, you cannot tell me this dude is comfortable with this with this with this with this big ass oven hat Chef Boy R D hat on in the sun like that. Get out of here. <laughs> so here you go. You know? You see the shoes, man? Why the shoes pointed up? She don't bust your toes. Trust me, I got a broken toe. I know how that shit go. Right? You see, pirate gun, sword, musket. Dagger. Right? Dagger. M so, uh, musket, sword. It's all right there. Marshall Bob. This motherfucker getting high. I mean, get that pipe out with your mouth holding that sword and shit. You're barefoot. What you gonna do barefoot? If everybody else got shoes on, if I, oh, except for this guy. Oh, his shoes is on the side of the carpet. Where does dude's shoes at? Come on, you getting out of here. See, and then he wrote a secret right there, right? Why did he write on a brick right there? Because it's, it's a secret, man. Well, see, this is after the takeover.
That's all it is, it's a Flickr page. You're wasting my time, man. So you see it yourself. You see how black turned white and all that shit, and just another page of it. So he just went straight wearing a rug. Look, his chest brown, his hands dark gray. You know, look at this look on his face. You see the smoke coming out of the uh, out of the pipe still. He's high as shit. Or is that a brick? That's a line in the brick. They still look high. They look like that, right? What is that? Is that the pipe? Right, you pack the shit in there, this is the part you suck on. It's a crazy pipe. It's a bagpipe pipe, right? Oh shit. I go to sword, or go to dagger, or go to the guitar. Pot to piss in, probably. That might be a drum. This is all luxury and protection. You see that? Swords and musical instruments. Remind you of something, right? Oh, I could do this for hours. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. If I keep going. Oh! Of course. Iron Man. Arab Iron Man. Black Arab Iron Man, right? You do see it's a screen full of black people, so instead of Iron Man, they show you War Machine. But they just call it Iron Man. When the white man needs help, he calls black man. Okay? Iron Man calls War Machine. Captain America calls Black Fountain. Oh, we don't call him Black Fountain no more. That's, that's just fucking racist. <laughs> Oh, shit, man. People trip me out. I find that a fantasy. I don't give a shit. So. That's one long gun, man. Unless that's a spear. I think that's a spear. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm just fascinated with this shit. There you go. Got the pistol. I don't know what that is. Is that a, is that a mini bow? I don't know what that is. The second piece. That's like an obsidian dagger or something like that. You know, that's like getting stabbed by a... Uh, oh, it's in a sheath. Oh, that's a Roman sword. It just, it's just... It, the point's different. It's just like the Roman... Uh, is it the gladius? I don't know. I'm still... What is this? Look at the design on the outside. Look at how they, how they do the metal. You know, it's got a flask. It's probably for alcohol. Leather, uh... Leather girdle. Leather belt with leather on top. You know? Look at this guy. He got the feather of some kind of animal, right? That had to hurt to pluck that shit out. Crazy beads. I wonder what this is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to see the other guy. See, I mean, come on, I mean, like, half of you want me to stop the video, half of you are like, you know, keep that shit going, I've never seen any of these. Go to Pinterest, Pinterest, and then put your email address in and make a passcode, and then you can just go and watch these, because they ain't have to let you on Pinterest without it, you know. Um, and then you saw I hit Moors or some shit like that, and, you know, just click on one picture, and then they give me a whole new set of pictures and shit, you know. I remember I didn't want to use Pinterest for it first. Okay, so he's bound and he's got a key and he's got a sword. So, okay, so he's bound and he hasn't used the key yet. He has revolted. All right. 
Uh, no idea what the Oraxis bear, Oraxis, Oraxa. Here you have. Is that a stat? Is that what they did? They chained their swords to themselves so they couldn't lose their weapon. Got some oily hands, nigga. You wipe that shit on your loincloth. Well, damn, dude. That's, um... Anybody know this exists? Monument to African resistance. Right? African resistance to what? White people? See, look. You can fucking say racism all you want. You can argue about racism all you want. I can argue racism all I want. We can argue against it all we want. But look. Whoever's in control of that fucking land sees the people that attempted to occupy or the occupier as an enemy. And they see them as an enemy because of color. Now, I want you to keep, keep in consideration. I know this video didn't start on this topic. I've, I've just never seen anything like that. That's, that's, that's just... It's great, to some degree. It, it is, but it isn't. Because it's a symbol and it stands for something. But the problem is... Is we act like it's taboo to talk about racism. We act like it's taboo to talk about all the murder that's happened, then the theft that's happened behind all of the murder. Now we act like you can't jaywalk. You can't do this. You can't do that. You look across the street and the white man is doing the same. And nobody's stopping. Nobody's saying you can't do this. You can't do that. With the officer standing right in front of you with magnifying glass saying, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you. I love Dirty Harry. Watch your mouth, man. Dirty, Carrie, Dirty Harry Callahan is amazing. I dare you, I dare you, I dare you. Oh, I gotta clean my magnifying glass. While, the, while, his, while his cousins across the street stealing shit his father's committing fucking white crimes right so your crimes are black his his his, his brother commits blue collar crimes his, his, his father commits white collar crimes he's on the fucking police force part of another fraternal fraternal order <laughs> doing other fucking crimes so you see what's happening is controlling the narrative. It's to say everything that they do is okay. Because they haven't built anything, but they have verbally claimed everything. Are you pregnant? That baby? I want you to name him Joe. You're mine. Be like. This is the mentality of it, right? How many times do you go to a store and somebody that doesn't work there starts fucking instructing you or trying to help you? Like, how many times is it somebody, I don't, if you're white, how many times is it black, somebody black? You don't work here, you're, you're in my business. I'm willing to bet it don't happen that much. Now, if you're classified as black, how many, how many times does somebody white who does not work where you're trying to spend your money come over and instruct you or suggest something to you? There's something inherently wrong with that, that you can't stay out of somebody's fucking business. that you really think somebody you have nothing to do with wants your advice, wants your opinion, 
or need to assist. I, I to a degree understand when people have that look on their face. Where did they put the bread this week? It, it, but it ain't about that. And we all know it truly never is. If you are a fucking country like in Africa where everybody says really only black people live there unless white people invaded and they got to make a fucking 30, 40, 50 foot statue of their own people That reminds me of the Olmec head. That reminds me of that giant mountain that looks like the black skin Indian in Canada. All these giant mountains to show the ancient, all these giant statues show the ancient land claim. But here comes some fucking barbarian and all the effort you put into making that giant statue doesn't matter because I just claimed it, mine. You got to be fucking kidding me. Every, every person with white skin talking about Barbaria, or, or excuse me, Tartaria, should be a fucking shame. I mean, seriously. To sit here and say, we stole your fucking land. Who built these buildings? Like, go home. Like, just go home. Like, it doesn't even make sense that you would ask these fucking things. You stole our books, told you everything, and now your dumb ass is here. So, it's just program little shits. It's an embarrassment to like to to see this. We're barbarians in the Bible, and uh, Europeans at one point in history, Indo-Europeans that lived in other places, right? Until they came and stole and stole an identity. Now they're Americans. Now they're Australians. Right? Trying to be South Africa. What is wrong with these people? Fuck it. What is wrong with us? I mean, how long do we sit back and see the, the, the devouring of everything? Give me the Bible. Give me the Bible. Show me where in the Bible. They poison the rivers with faggot juice. Show me the scripture in the Bible where they po poison the river with lesbian juice. No, but I can show you in modern times where they poison the rivers with atrophine. So much so that other white groups watched them and recorded them in time and dated when they did it and where they did it and the effect on the people. But you're watching thinking that I'm the bad guy for saying taboo things like skin color. You might be watching, and you might think to yourself, you got a couple points, but you're fucking crazy. And this is what I say to you. The pilot poisons the sky while his wife and kid are below them. What can you really say to that? They broadcast on the news for two weeks. It's forest fires. Then at the end of two weeks, they say, 
a naval ship misfired a fucking laser and it destroyed Northern California. So much so that they say the what is it families of ex-presidents had been lost by that military disaster that most people think is still just a first round of forest fires explain to me if i'm a president my family moves out to california i fulfill my duty as president uh, my family still retires there and a military mishaps with a laser cannon burns up my fucking family tell me how that's not the snake eating itself i'll listen for this one i will listen you need to think about that all these actions that they do to hurt themselves the bible tells us even their version of the bible says that one day a king will rise over them they can't even get along now why would they want somebody over them they're fighting each other for power right now why would they want a king that would take their power from them they want heaven but they sided with the beast that will never see heaven they wanted things so bad they joined the wrong side of the army think about when you say i'm a good guy and i've done things for them but everything done for them is wicked one step forward two steps back one righteous thing five wicked things at the end of the day where does everybody stand see that's what i heard you've heard that in your life somebody says hey on judgment day where do i stand i heard a woman say that recently on judgment day where do i stand Everybody take a deep breath. Smell that. You smell something burning? Put your fucking feet on fire. That is where you stand. Guess what? Judgment Day is over there. It's over there you're right here in the present you have that much distance that much measurable distance to fucking change to correct some of the things that you fucked up your backwards ways your unnatural ways you got this much time to change Obama told you when he came up, it's time for change. What was he trying to tell you? Hmm? This is still the same person uh, that everybody hates. This is still the same person that fulfilled prophecy and extended what? Zion into a wilderness? Hey, man, I'm not picking favorites. I'm just quoting actions. You've got to think about where all this leads. If he prepared that in his term from 2008 to 2000, blah, 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 15, right? Is when he did it, 2015, I think. So it's 2019 now. That prophecy has been waiting to be fulfilled for at least four years now. How many people think about where we are as men, women, humans versus prophecy being fulfilled? 
we really need to consider some of these things because we're standing on a path and there's hot coals those coals will soon change to fire if we don't get further to the right correct righteous way we will be engulfed you need to think about your future versus prophecy no matter whom they are on earth they've heard of the covenant they've heard of judgment day Everything else it just falls in between. You have control of your soul. Now what will you do with it?